Hiya, Doc. Today, it's all about the galaxy. In a galaxy far, far away, we're gonna do nails. Galaxy nails. So, let's get cracking. So, you can see I've painted black nails. I mean, I, I love long black nails. Even short black nails look nice, especially when we're coming into the autumnal world. Yeah, it's gone a bit cold out there now. I'm, I was holding on to, you know, summer with every breath, but now... I've still got my shorts on. Yeah, I, I, I just can't... Yeah. I'm not accepting that, that it's going to be cold. Yeah. I mean, it has gone a bit cold. I'm quite happy just to be cold. Mm. I've still not put my heating on though. I've not put the heating on because you can't afford it. <laughs> it costs too much bloody money. So expensive. <laughs> so if we so imagine these are a full set of extensions. You can do this on a natural nail as well. You can do it on a short nail. You just adapt the size and scale of the design. Um, I'm not going to bother putting base coat on, but just just for time because we're going to be doing a lot today. Um, if you're doing it on a natural nail and if you want the nails to last, you know, you get those clients that have like trouble with peeling gel polish. Well, ours doesn't peel. And if you put the base coat on, it stays for the full two to three weeks, which is amazing. So the base coat is important if you're doing it on yourself or a client. So I'm going to use Void, which is... The blackest black you ever did see. And we'll only, we'll only need one coat of this. Nice and thin, one coat. And we're going to bang it in the lamp. We are using the Aliana hand today. Because she doesn't cause any mischief. Look at that, I put the hand in and it stays on. I keep forgetting that it's got a sensor. <laughs> the lamp has a sensor, you just put the hand in and it comes on. So, we have... Black nails. There we are, we're done. <laughs> well, if you look up into the sky, it just looks black, don't you, a lot of the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're in the city, you look up, it's just black. I know. But if you go out into... The middle the of nowhere. Wilderness. Yeah, like where we are. We're in the wilderness, aren't we? What, here? Yeah. Yeah, it is. The only thing is, Damien's put lights up outside and, mm. and it kind of blocks the... The, the, the stargazing. The stargazing, mm. yeah, not that I really get to do much I'm of that, but... mm. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Um, yeah, probably not. So what I'm going to do now is I want um, something that's slippy and slimy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use base coat. I know you're thinking, why are you putting base coat on top? It will help. It's going to help with um, putting the other colour on and helping it to move around. And we're going to do a little bit of layering as well. So... I'm just going to do it and, now, and make sure it's thin. It doesn't need to be thick. Nice and thin. So notice I've dragged off the excess from the brush and I'm splaying the brush so it drags off the excess. And we've got now a slippy, slidey surface. So you're not going to cure that. So the first one we're going to use is Out Out. So if you have our products, if you have Out Out, you'll know it's glow in the dark. <laughs> You know, just like the stars. So we're going to use some of that. I'm going to pop that onto my palette. So we're going to use also Night Glow, which is also a glow in the dark. If you look at the colours, they are semi-transparent. So they're quite milky. For the Milky Way. So we're going to create like a Milky Way, Galaxy, Aurora, Bo uh, that one, Aurora Borealis. What's the other one called? There's the Aurora. Aurora Borealis and... and the, well, there's the southern one, isn't there? Oh, I don't know. So the no the, you're talking about the northern lights. Okay. Hey Siri, what are the southern lights called? It says Aurora. I know it's called an Aurora. <laughs> why, is, why is Siri like just... Dumb. Yeah. Dumb. Ugh. While Adam finds that out, I'm going to use the Babacast brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of out-out. 
through that. And can you see why we need that slippy, slidey? Aurora Australis. Aurora Australis. That is. Ah, okay. It's Australian. Well, that's what they say, but it's Antarctica, really. So we can see how it just moves around and you can just create this little... I suppose it's a little bit marbly. And then I'm going to add um, some out-out as well. So I know we've already added out out. This is night glow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, come on, Kirsty. Add a little bit here as well. So the main focal point will be in this sort of center section. I'm going to cure that. And then I'm going to use a selection of colors now. We're going to use Kim. Kim is a deep navy. And it also has a bit of sparkle in it. And I'm just going to show you on this palette. So you see it's a deep navy and it has glitter in as well. And that's what we want. So we'll have a bit of that. Then I'm going to use from the Crushed Diamond collection, Yasmin and Lisa Lisa. My Lisa Lisa uh, just did the Great North Run. Did she? Yeah. 12, wow. 12, 12 times. The tw she's done the Great North Run 12 times. Yeah. Wow, she is fit as a fiddle. Mm, no, she's not. <laughs> okay. Did she struggle? <laughs> but she always struggles because she doesn't do any training. <laughs> and then we've got some Babacass. And Babacass has lots of different particles of glitter in. So we've got, a, you know, a bunch of glittery gorgeousness there. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to, because I want it a bit wider, I'm going to use the Cassidy One Stroke Brush. I'm just going to pick up some of Kim. I'm just going to add little bits. You don't need a lot. So add a little bit of glitter on there and there. Just going to clean that out. And then I'm going to add some of the other colours. Just really random. If you want to transfer a lot of glitter, you better just patting rather than pulling because it's when you pull, 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 you kind of drag it off. So you kind of want to pat it on to get those chunky particles on there rather than pulling them off by swiping. We're going to cure that. Then we're going to use some white out. And we will need to base coat. I want it slippy again. Like a, the, the, the glow in the dark stuff's like a, what, what they, they call it? It's like the Magellan cloud or... You know, Is you that what through, it's called? You look, when you look through like a, the, the Hubble, the Hubble telescope just sort of yeah. all these like cloud-like things. And they all have names. Stretch galaxies. But one's called the Magellan. I know that. How do you know all this stuff? Because I've... Do boring stuff. <laughs> I read a lot of boring, boring stuff. So we're going to pull through some highlights with our little Milky Way. So you can see why you need that slippy layer. Else these would just be really sort of solid lines and you don't want them to be solid. I'm just going to do a bit of a swirl here. Then a tiny bit of void, which is our black. And then I'm going to swirl through that white. Cure that. And then what we're going to do is use matte top coat. Cure that. Then I have a Brendette brush that I fluffed out. You might have seen this in other videos. So I've like fluffed it out and let it dry fluffy. And we're going to use some pigment now. Now, most people think that you have to use pigment on top of a sticky layer, which you can do. But it also works on matte. So I'm going to pick up some of the yellow, swirl it onto the kitchen towel, and brush that in. And that'll stick really well. Then... Take some of the pink. And then I'll have some of the blue. And I'm rubbing it on the kitchen towel and kind of working it into the brush rather than adding like a whole heap. So it's a lot more controlled. 
Then I am going to base coat. Another base coat? Another base coat and then a tiny bit of white. You could just leave it like that, you know, it does look nice, but I just want to add little highlights. Looks like a little shooting star there going through. Yeah. <laughs> little highlights of the white. And I'm also going to add some little dots into that wet base coat. And it will slightly bleed. You want to let it slightly bleed. We're going to cure that. Then back into white out. I've got the Lily Liner brush. And we're going to go from those little dots and pull some little lines to create a little starburst. And in the lamp, but it's cool, isn't it? Ooh. Right, let's top coat this now. Oh, it's so cool. There's a lot going on in that galaxy. It's like the Guardians of the Galaxy's galaxy. It is. <laughs> I love it. So we're going to do the same on the rest, and then we'll show you how they glow. So on this one, I'm going to do things slightly different. So we're still going to add like the glitter and everything like that. But on this one, I'm going to do a planet. I don't know what planet it is, so don't come for me with that planet doesn't exist. It, it might not exist. Might not have been found yet. That's it. Yes, Adam. Yes. I like your thinking. So I'm just going to do a quick sort of background. So there's just something there that's a bit of interest. But then the main focal will be the planet itself. Right, so let's just cure that. So I'm going to use white out. I'm just going to put a bunch of that on. Then with my... Tammy Picker Upper, so this is the design needle end of the Tammy Picker Upper. I'm going to start to make this into a circle because planets are round. My dad thinks they are not. I mean, they might not be perfectly round and that's going to be my excuse. And I think I'll do a little one here. So I can just push that product like that. Get me to come a little bit more around here. It's much easier to use the design needle to get things round rather than a brush. And I'm going to mat. The matte gel pop, the matte top coat will pull a little bit of the gel polish and make it like a, like a little bit smudgy. Then I'm going to take the pigment and I'm going to add a shadow to this side of this planet. So it's it's so good. It, sticking to matte and you, you'd think it wouldn't stick to matte wouldn't don't you but it's, it actually does it, it it sticks really well and I think I'm going to use pink on the other one I might use pink and yellow actually let's go 
really exciting. Like those, um, you ever watch those videos where the dude has like a ball? Oh my god, heads. yes, that's sort of it is, isn't it? He's doing and... that without the ball, yeah. <laughs> right, so we now can use a lily liner brush with white out. I'm just gonna mark there and there because that's where I want my ring to start. I'm going to drop down a little bit lower. And then you'll go a little bit higher on the back and kind of fade that out to nothing. So you get the illusion of it wrapping around. Solar system. In our solar system. Saturn. Neptune. Neptune. Yeah. Neptune? Yeah. Is it not Saturn? The, the, there are rings of Saturn, but it doesn't have Neptune have some of Saturn. There's a couple, isn't there? I did go to school, promise, but I just didn't pay attention. Right, which planets have rings? Yeah, Saturn does. Oh yeah, Neptune does. Jupiter, Uranus, mm. and Neptune have rings, but Saturn's are the biggest and brightest. Ah. Right, let's pop that in the lamp. So we can top coat now. Oh, I love them. Mm. Look at the planet. The planet. Or planets. Ooh. This one's five million um, yeah, miles close away. To each other. Yeah, no, there's five million miles away. It's just oh. really big. It's still quite close for the planets. Five there. million miles. Yeah. Is it? Is that quite close? It's quite close. Yeah. Like neighbors. Neighbors. They are neighbors. So Aliana is ready to be jetted out of space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it's super cool. It's not too difficult, as in skill. There's not a massive amount of skill. Give it a go, especially like using your pigments with um, your matte top coat as well. You'll enjoy doing that, I'm sure. Um, and now we're going to show you what they look like in the dark. Ooh, I don't know why I'm making spooky noises. <laughs> That's cool. So not only are they cool in the day, they look mint at night. And Adam's dropping stuff. <laughs> it's normally me dropping stuff, to be honest. I've got an SD card. Yeah. So there we are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out in the galaxy far, far away. <laughs> 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 I will see you in the next video. Ta-ra,